Name the phenomenon that explain why the wavelength is shown in the graph differ. I think all the time in question 6, when we come across something like this, we know what the answer is already. Doppler effect. And then equation 6.2 is the car moving towards or away from the listener. Give a reason for the answer. Now we have to go through the equation statement. A stationary listener standing on the roadside records the wavelength of the sound emitted by a siren of a police car traveling at a constant velocity. In the wavelength time graph below, not drawn to scale, wavelength of the listener is the, well, wavelength with the subscript of L, right, is the wave length of the sound recorded by the listener while the one with a bit of an s here is the wavelength recorded by well the wavelength of the sound emitted by the siren and then we're supposed to take the speed of sound in air as 343 meters per second so is the car moving away or towards the listener the listener is stationary so what is influencing the wavelength that the listener observes is the motion of the car whether it is moving away or towards. So take a look at this. The frequency of the listener, or not the frequency, but the wavelength observed by the listener is greater than the wavelength observed by or emitted by the sound source. But wavelength and frequency, frequency is inversely proportional to the wavelength, right? So this simply implies that the frequency emitted by the source is greater than the frequency observed by the listener. So if the frequency observed by the source is so if the frequency emitted by the source is greater than the frequency observed by the listener what does that imply it implies that the listener has to be moving away given that the sound source is stationary so that is the answer to 6.2 and then 6.3.1 calculate the frequency of the sound emitted by the siren well we have the wavelength of the sound emitted by the siren so it should be quite easy to calculate the frequency. F is equal to V divided by the wavelength. We are told that we are supposed to take the speed of sound in air as 343 meters per second. So we have 343 divided by 0 0.38. It's already in meters, so we don't have to change anything there. So 343 divided by 0 0.38. This gives us 902.63 hertz. This is the frequency emitted by the source. 6.3.2, magnitude of the velocity of the car. That is actually the last question in question 6. So we are looking for the velocity of, well, the car. Is the listener the one who is stationary? Or um, the, the car is the one that is stationary, our sound source. Let's go through our question statement again. A stationary listener okay so the listener is stationary so the listener is stationary it is the car that is moving away right so the answer here is still away but it is actually uh, the sound source that is moving and not the listener the listener is stationary is the sound source that is moving away okay so magnitude of the velocity of the car so this is the velocity of the sound source that you are looking for we have the frequency of the sound source because you have calculated it we have the velocity of, well, the speed of sound in air. It is given to us. Velocity of uh, the speed of sound in air. It is just V. It is given to us, right? Uh, magnitude of the velocity of the car. So we are looking for V as we have VL because the listener is stationary, which is uh, zero. And then what about the frequency observed by the listener? We can calculate that because we are given... Uh, the wavelength right not the free uh, yeah we're given the wavelength that we can calculate the frequency it is going to be equals to 340 well okay let's leave that for now but we can calculate it all right as we move forward so with these variables we can say fl is equals to v plus or minus vl divided by v plus or minus vs multiplied by fs so fl the frequency observed by the listener so we're going to say 343 divided by the wavelength right which is 0 0.4 so this is the frequency observed by the listener and then we have v which is 343 the listener is stationary so plus or minus zero and then we have 343 the sound source is moving away so we're gonna have plus vs multiplied by the frequency emitted by the sound source which is 902.63 so 343 divided by 0 0.4 this is 
857.5 and it is equals to 343 divided by 343 plus vs multiplied by 902.63 let's divide both sides by 902.63 if we do that we're gonna get 0 0.95 being equals to 343 divided by 343 plus vs let's cross multiply so 0 0.95 multiplied by 343 uh, this is 325.8506 right and then plus 0 0.95 vs this is equals to 343 so vs is going to be equals to 343 minus 325 32 not 3 32.5 325 325.8506 everything divided by everything divided by 0 0.95 the coefficient of vs right so let me just put that in my calculator and see what i get here i'm getting 18.05 so vs is 18.05 meters per second there we go that is question six so we have done question two three four five if you have been watched that click on the channel and you'll find those videos which question do we go to next let me know in the comments yeah we go